says ducks can't be detectives? Who says chicks can't cluck for their peppers? Who says rats can't rock? Does anyone really know what goes on in the farm when people are around? It's entirely possible that animals have mysteries just like us. In the Web Files by Margie Caltini, stolen goods are the mystery, and two duck detectives are on the case. The Web Files by Margie Palatini. 6.32 a.m. This is the farm. My partner Bill and I work in the barnyard shift. It was peaceful. Quiet. Then we got the call. Cock-a-doodle-doo! A lot of squawking going on down in the coop area, Duck Detective Web. Looks like foul play. Report says feathers are flying. Chief says we should check out the chicks. Chicks? Check. Let's flap. Dum dee dum dum. 6.35 a.m. The hen's house. We knocked on the door. She answered. Park, 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 park. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. I've been robbed. Robbed, I tell you. Robbed, robbed, robbed. So you're saying that you were robbed. Is that right, ma'am? What exactly is missing from the nest, ma'am? Eggs, ma'am? Chicks, ma'am? Pe-pe-pe-peppers! Peppers? My perfect purple peppers that were just about ready to be pickled. About how many perfect purple peppers would you say were pilfered, pinched, and picked? A bushel? Pock, pock! No, a peck! A peck, I tell you! A whole purple pepper picking peck! Have any idea who would pick a peck of your perfect purple almost pickled peppers? Not a clue. I turned to Bill and gave him a quick whack. Round up the usual suspects. Dum de dum dum. Nine oh six a.m. Headquarters was hopping. A Miss named Muffet had just been tossed off her tuffet, and a gal named Pete was missing some sheep. I noticed that three little kittens had lost their mittens. They began to cry. I wanted to help. I couldn't. I had pickled peppers to worry about. We'd horn in the corner and were trying to make little boy blue quack. Okay, blue boy, quit blowing your horn. Time to make hay. Suppose you just tell me where you were this morning. I'm innocent. Innocent, I tell you. I was under the haystack, fast asleep. Honest. Ask anybody. Sure, sure. I've heard that bedtime story before. Got any witnesses? No. The sheep are in the meadow. Cows were in the corn. Things look black for the boy in blue. And then, we got another call. There's been some horsing around and reported down near Barn Pen. Looks like another robbery. We put the kid out in the pasture. Dum dee dum dum. 10.43 a.m. Corner of Barn and Pen. Bill and I talked to the horses. Whoa! Whoa! You there! I'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind, sir. Nay! Not at all. What do you know about a peck of unlawfully picked perfect purple almost pickled peppers? 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 A peck of purple peppers? Not a thing. But somebody just tied Dylan out of here with a dough of my darkest tasty tomatoes. Tomatoes? You say tomatoes. I say tomatoes. Somebody just hauled the whole thing off. A sheep showed up. And find my lettuce where you're at it, too. Somebody just lifted a load of my luscious leafy lettuce not ten minutes ago. This is bad. Really bad. <laughs> my partner looked at me and scratched his head. Peppers. Tomatoes. Lettuce. What do you make out of all this, Webb? There was only one thing to make out of all of this. Salad. <laughs> Dum dee dum dum. 11.47 a.m. The squad room. My partner and I were still trying to whack the case, but we didn't have any idea whom to ID. Rats. That's it. There was only one suspect who was sneaky enough, wily enough, and tricky enough to pick a perfect, a peck of perfect purple almost pickled peppers, take a tub of tasty tart tomatoes, and lift a little of luscious leafy lettuce. 12.22 p.m. My partner and I were hot on the tail of that, that dirty rat. 
Dum dee dum dum. Twelve forty six p.m. A real hole in wall. We know you're holed up in there, you dirty rat. Let us in. He did. Hey, what's up, duck? There's been some trouble down on the farm. What do you know about a rash of recent robberies? 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 <coughs> what makes you think I know anything about a robbery? I'm no cheesy snitch. Can it, Ratso? You've been in nothing but garbage for years. The rag grinned. Okay, sure, sure. Go ahead, Flatfoot. Look anywhere you want. But make it quick, Quacker. You're interrupting my lunch. Lunch, eh, rodent? I took a gander at his table. Hey, what's going on here? You're not going to pin this rap on me. Where's your evidence, you waddling webfoot? You got nothing on me. Nothing, see? I'm clean. Clean, I tell you. Clean. I picked a piece of lettuce from under his chin. <laughs> not clean enough, you dirty rat. I smelled his breath, just as I suspected. Garlic mayo. Book him, ducko. His salad days are over. <laughs> over? Over? But they can't be over. I haven't even had my dessert. Take him away. My partner gave me a pat on the back. Looks like you quacked another one, Webb. How did you ever figure it was him? Just played a hunch he ate the evidence for lunch and forgot to use a napkin and brush his teeth. He's a dirty rat, all right. He never did have good hygiene. Dum dee dum dum. The dirty rat was tried and convicted on three counts of vegetable vagrancy, offensive bad breath, and, and not using a napkin to wipe under his chin. He was sent up the river and was sentenced to six months of farm labor with time off for good behavior, better table manners, and clean teeth. Case closed. Dum dee dum dum. Dum.